All right, guys, we're finally back at it. Today, um, we're going to do some work on the Eagle. I finally figured out a solution for our mirror problem that's been going on for six months with the control not working. I rebuilt the control and thought I had it, but it didn't work. So I found something out of a Chevy vehicle, and that's what we're going to show you now. We're going to go solder up the connections and finally get the door panel thrown back in. Stick with us. Okay, we're gonna tin all these wires first because these are a little bit bigger than I wanted. So this is what I'm using, just a uh, bullet connector and I took off the insulator. I'm gonna put um, heat shrink tubing over these, but I wanna solder all this stuff on because I don't trust crimps because they always fail. And this is annoying. On a side note too, this is the uh, switch, and then I copied the original knob here. It's not perfect, but uh, it looks pretty decent. I put some knurling on it. So this one just twists from side to side. I'm not gonna do it right now because it'll unthread, and I'm waiting for the Loctite to dry on here. So I just put on blue Loctite because this switch, you just click it for left, click it for right. There's no in-between lockout. So if you look right here on the bezel, there's a hole for the original lockout switch or selector switch. And uh, we're not gonna be able to use that, so I'll have to come up with something for that. But no biggie. So don't let me brand you here while I'm doing this. And then we gotta make up a uh, vapor barrier. Because for some reason the original got lost. Okay, so here's our final setup on the wiring. Got orange to orange, red and white to pink with black stripe. Uh, this tannish color wire to uh, pink and orange, which is kind of confusing because there's two of them. And then we've got another one that's yellow to white with orange tracer, brown with white to black with white, black to black. Uh, light blue with white tracer to black with black tracer, orange to orange, and green to yellow. I think that's all of them. Anyway, let's see if I can do this one-handed while I'm holding the control in my hand. And you can watch the mirror. Oh, wrong mirror. Okay, now up and down. Oop. Oh, that wasn't quite down. This is difficult one hand, but hopefully you can see this. And these mirrors kind of move on a transverse when they come up. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, so. Anyway, I don't know if you can see the passenger side. We'll just move that one a little bit for you. This is up and down. Left and right. So, I think what I'd like to do is, uh, I think I'd like to connect this to the door panel first because this can be kind of a pain in the butt if I've got to try and work with this while it's attached to the door. Now, we can always disconnect it here. And I think what I'll do is just heat shrink connector these now. Seems to work okay on that side. 
and then doing this with one hand again. Okay. And then this way. Okay, I think we got her. So now what we gotta do is build a vapor shield or vapor barrier here for the door because I set the old one up on top of the car and uh, it blew off somewhere. Huh? What? What are you guys playing? Uh, a game. A game? Yeah. Is it Game of Thrones? I see a dragon. Ching, 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 ching. And a giant centipede. Um. And two monsters, one, two. <laughs> okay. Second. And you have a, a Salvador Dali dirt mustache going. <laughs> what are you barking at? <laughs> okay. So pretty out here today. It's first warm day we've had in quite some time. We've had the wettest winter on record in Utah. And 1983 was a horrible year for flooding. So what do you think is going to happen this year? So got to get the old eagle cleaned up here. She's getting real dirty. Going to put her in a car show. Okay, I was digging through my stuff to try and find those uh, that little wire loom and look what I found Now I think the other ones probably looked like that originally, but these have the chrome on them. So guess what? Yoink Gonna change those real quick It's just an added bonus Let's See if it'll go on there without breaking the heater control Yeah, there now you can see them side by side I like it. I like it a lot. Now, there we go. Just one little upgrade there. Just get us all fancied up. Thought you guys would like to see that. And then I do have the tachometer for here, but uh, if anybody knows how to get this damn instrument cluster out of here without cracking the dash, I started gently pulling on this, and this cracked here. I don't know if you can see it, but I repaired it. That plastic's super brittle. I'm trying to protect this car, you know, I've got a dash cover on here. But, uh, geez, you know, that just broke so easily. And uh, I think I'm going to have to get another one from the wrecking yard when I go down there. But like I say, if anybody knows how to get this cluster out without breaking it and then pull the gauge cluster, I'd love to hear from you. Okay, I'll just cut a big old piece of plastic here. Big old ball of plastic. You thought I was going to say poopy, didn't you? Alright. So, I'm just kind of get this placed in here. Oh, I dig the sliver out of my finger. Pull this somewhat tight. I'm short on magnets for some reason. So, just kind of get a general idea. I can see where the old you know, stuff on here is. It's like camper tape is basically what it is. So we'll just kind of press it on there and then we'll cut a little bit beyond that. You know, the original is about to here. So that's all we're going for. If you don't know what the vapor barrier does, the name says it all, I think. It just kind of keeps any moisture that gets down in the door from coming in, soaking the door card and uh, getting inside the car. So, now oh, we got the sun again. I guess it didn't go down all the way. Can't decide whether it wants to be spring, summer, or winter this year. Went from 80 degrees one day to 40 the next. All right, well, I'll run down and get some camper tape and uh, 
we'll get this all fixed up and put back in place and then this will all be uh, ready to go other than putting the door panel on of course okay well it's the next day and we're back at it on the eagle here so i totally forgot and left this whole thing on the door last night my wife was driving the car today i'm like whoops all right so this is what i'm using which is what would have been on here originally and you can see it's kind of this gummy stuff so we need to get all this crap off here and uh, put the new stuff in its place so let's start on that Okay, and then once the door panel's on, we shouldn't have any issue with that sticking. And so, uh, looks like our holes for these are just a little bit lower than we had planned, but that's okay. That screw will have no problem going right through that. So, I'll bring it back when we're doing the next stage of it. Okay, so, I think what I'm gonna have to do here, this is uh, the next day, by the way. I think what I'm gonna have to do here is uh, take off this one clamp I realize there's another one that goes right here. You can see the witness marks from it. And uh, I can always put one somewhere else. I'm not going to drill any holes. Just use pre-existing holes. But you need to understand too that my wiring is now quite a bit longer than the original. So, just want to make sure we're not going to get caught up in that door in the uh, window mechanism. I mean, I think if we put the clamp there, can we get away with that? There's no door clip that goes here. So why don't we put a screw there and then we'll run this over and up. Because the thing is, I'm gonna have to have this wiring pop out of here and then it's pretty long, so I don't know if I can double back on it or something, I don't know. But we're gonna find out. wire keep pulling back on everything and now it's dropped or not at least you get the damn thing in place by then okay I gotta have something to align this or something let's try this again maybe I can get the clip aligned Just keep it there for a second and I'm putting that on the tip of the screwdriver to kind of guide it looks like that worked okay I don't know if we had that last one cross threaded or what the hell but it looks like it finally went so I'm not going to tighten this up all the way because I want that to be able to move a little Okay, so I found a way to drill these without ripping my hand to shreds. So I gotta do two, so I'll show you the other one on camera. The uh, SD card ran out. So what I did here is I just put this up on the hole and then uh, kinda put pressure against it, let it flip to the side. There you go. Uh, 
Okay, well, let's see what we can do about wiring this part now. And I did go grab another nut, so hopefully that one will work. Like I say, I really am not a big fan of having these wires strung through the inside of the door like this. I think it's just asking them to uh, get them caught on something. Now, I think these doors are drilled for extra holes for the uh, Hornet version of this car, because this car used to be a Hornet, you know, before they made them into Eagles. They just use the same body. So, I don't know if you can see on the back of the door panel here, I'll try and show you. But the clips only come up to about here, and there's none in the middle. So, that shouldn't be an issue if we run that clip right there and hold the wires. I'll just put that up top, and uh, I can keep that out of the door mechanism, I hope. Now this hole is an original one, and so is this one. So I'd like to use those as much as I can just because we know the wiring should be safe there. Okay. Hmm. It's a lot of wiring to fit in that clip. Let's see if we can go a little higher here. Get around all those bullet connectors. So far, so good. Now, we gotta see if the window regulator is gonna catch that. And I bet it is. Yep. Okay. So let's make sure we get that out of the way. We'll just pull it over a little bit. All right, we're pretty well set here. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut some new holes for the screws because twice I've put this on here and they're too low. The screws will definitely go through that, but uh, we don't want it to hang up and tear the plastic as much as possible. You know, not like my dull knife is doing right now. Okay, let's see if we can get this door panel on. So what I've got to do is put this into the door panel and then there's a little set screw here. So this could be a little tricky. I don't know how I'm gonna film this for you guys, I'm sorry. Uh, there's no really good angle. Maybe I can get you up here. Tighten the set screw. Okay. Let's see if this is able to push back through. Ooh. It seems pretty sturdy. Okay. Yeah, I know. Very annoying. Oh, into my fingy. Okay, I can already see our first problem here. Okay, you want to shine down here? Down here. All right, you see that? That's a problem. That didn't go where I was hoping it would. So let's see if we can. Just this at all. Without losing that down there. Yeah, not really. Yeah, see when I roll up this window, it's gonna have that right in the way. And of course I can't do it with the 
door panel on. That'd be too convenient. Oh, that nut disappeared down. Unless it was just a nut that fell off. Yeah, it's just a nut. Well, piece of freaking crap. All right. Rearrange this stupid thing. I don't know how we're going to do this where it's not going to grab that wiring. It'd be better if we could come out and around here, but that's not going to happen. going pretty well vertical so my idea is that that'll guide that down there keep it out of the regulator well, let's try it see what actually happens thought we had this figured out If it'll stay there, see the problem is how that wiring is bent. It wants to kick it over so when that sits in place, oh, let's knock my teeth out with the door handle. That'd be great. Uh, it's just barely clearing right now. Uh, run this down just a little bit. But I think with the slop that uh, this has in this clamp here, that's going to cause us issues. Gosh, I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can just kind of hold this back with this uh, zip tie. I don't want to go through the trouble of putting another clamp right there. It's not necessary. This is just so that we don't catch our wires. This doesn't even really have to be tight. It's almost, you know, the fact that we need to train the wires because it's kind of going to have to come on a 90 here to get in that flat spot so that set screw can lock on there. So let's kind of curve those wires. Try not to have those wires get fatigued. Okay. Yeah, well, this is getting hung up in the regulator here. We're just having all sorts of problems, aren't we? Okay, problem is, looks all fine and dandy until I put this back in here, put the door panel on. So I'm gonna try and hold this where it'll be when this is all back together. Problem is this uh, something's changing when I put this door panel on.
up here. Ah, crap. The clip went sideways on us. Of course. Chrysler uses these same type of clips and I'm not a big fan of them. If you got an 80s or 70s Dodge, you know what I'm talking about. These little clips like this and then they always do that number. It's super annoying. Okay. Well, we got her most of the way there. Now, if you notice forward and backward is doing up and down on here. I didn't know which way the switch was going to land. Uh, I'm not real concerned about that. It's, it still works just fine. If I get ambitious later, I can pull this all apart and swap the wiring around. Maybe when I tint the windows, because I'm going to take the windows out to do them. It's just easier. So, now the question is, where's all of our door hardware? Because uh, I haven't seen it for quite some time. I put it aside in a box and I went back and looked at that box and uh, it's not in there. Do another check of the window. It is touching that wiring just a little bit when it brushes past it, but it's just kind of pushing it to the side, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And this window, see how this there's a little guide here? This window needs new window channels because it's hitting that and then it doesn't go in. See? The only way to get it to go in when the window or the door's closed is to kind of bump it. And the other issue you'll notice right here is I can't put this rubber grommet around the little edge that's supposed to hold it, but I don't think that's going to be a big deal. If I want to put some glue on the back side of there, I will, but uh, all in all, you know, it looks pretty factory. I think it'll work. So I will uh, go look for the hardware for this and we'll get back with you here when we're installing it. So I don't know what happened to it, but uh, I've got a buddy that's got an eagle with a blue interior, so if nothing else, I'll grab one from him. So far so good, but uh, we are also uh, missing the screw that goes in here. That may be in the passenger side here, I need to look. Well guess what I found, I outsmarted myself. Put the stupid thing in the glove box. So, we'll get one of these screws installed here, and then we'll look through the parts and see what else we got. I'm trying to choose the best panels out of the stuff I've got. I've got to go up and pull a bunch of stuff out of the wrecking yard before it gets 10,000 degrees because it's always super hot up there, unless it's super cold, and then it's always raining. So, all right, let's see. 
what we got in our old bag of goodies here. First thing. I'm trying to remember how these things snap in here. I think you gotta kinda push that side around the door cart. And then we need two black screws. Looks like we got them. Now the question is, where are the holes? I can't really see through that plastic. Let's just take this out and we'll figure out where they go. Well, we were basically there. The screw just didn't want to line up. Hole was punched right in the right spot. But I'm not going to sit here and fish around for a half hour. Fill in the dirt. I'm going to set up a GoFundMe for a uh, paved driveway. Okay. Oh, there it is. Uh, I'm so glad I found that. Oh my gosh, my wife will be so thrilled to have a door panel back on here. Then we got to go through the air conditioning and uh, probably replace the line dryer, all the uh, O-rings, all that kind of stuff, just to make sure that it's up to snuff and then refill the system. I got to put my gauges on there and check though. Um, I do have a set of R12 gauges, so the intent's to keep this car on R12 because R12 is a much better refrigerant. And it's certainly a better refrigerant than 1234YF. You got a new car with that in there, you're gonna be uh, servicing your refrigerant about two years after you buy the car because the stuff is worthless and loses its cooling capacity. And you'll think you've got a leak in the system and you don't. And it's about $60 a can. It was 90 last year. So, yeah. Thank you, inflation. Oh, and then here's my clips that I needed earlier. All right, now the question is, do we have the right screw for the uh, window handle? Well, that would be a big no right there. This one looks like a, yeah, these are both for the mirror. Okay, that's enough. Let me go get that proper torx. We'll hit this and then uh, this door panel will be reassembled. So, lesson, if you can take something apart and uh, it's gonna be a while, you know, keep it all together and uh, make sure you remember where you put it because that took me a minute to find that stuff. And... Okay, well, I don't have the impact driver so we'll just use the drill set the clutch so we don't tr strip this. Okay. So, with that being said, 
Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We are at, I believe, 299 subscribers as of this video. I apologize. I have not put up videos lately. I've been remodeling my house and I've been extremely busy. I work two jobs and do the YouTube thing and remodeling the house on top of it. It's been busy. So, like I say, hit that thumbs up button subscribe comment and uh, like i said earlier if you guys know how to get that panel out of the dash without breaking it that instrument cluster let me know i've looked on the eagle stand but the instructions were pretty vague and i tried it and ended up breaking that so if somebody's actually got physical experience and they can show step by step it'd be great this is reaper signing off on another one